Hey guys, this video will offer basic information on Overwatch 2's newest hero, Maga, so that you can know all you need about him in preparation for his competitive launch December 19th. Alright, let's get started by discussing Maga's basic stats and abilities. Maga has 500 base HP and 150 armor HP. However, you can also get more health than this by using his passive Berserker. Berserker converts 50% of all critical damage dealt into overhealth. Maga can cause critical hits in three main ways, through headshots, through using Chacha on a burning target, or through landing your overrun directly on an enemy, and we'll talk about this later on. Maga can generate up to 150 overhealth at a time, which means that his total maximum HP is 800. Overhealth begins to be lost at a rate of 5 per second after 5 seconds. Now, I'll be talking about Maga's two chain guns. I'll be referring to Gunny, Maga's left chain gun, as his fire gun, and Cha Cha, Maga's other chain gun, as his crit gun. If shot independently, Maga's chain guns are both highly accurate, and shoot at 4 damage per bullet each at 18 bullets per second after their wind up time of 0.16 seconds. When firing one of Maga's chain guns, it'll impose a 15% movement speed penalty, which doesn't do much by itself, but if using both guns at once, this penalty will stack to 30% which is highly noticeable. It's only really viable to shoot both chain guns when under 10 meters of distance away from your target, and if that target happens to have a large hitbox, such as a tank, or from point blank when fighting smaller targets. His fire gun, after landing 15 shots on an enemy, will set them on fire, and this fire does 15 damage a second for 3 seconds. Do know that when Maga comes back to comp, his fire gun will only need 10 shots on an enemy to set them on fire. Maga's crit gun will do critical hits to enemies who are on fire, even if they aren't supposed to be critical, such as an Orisa during Fortify or a Ball. This applies to all fire effects such as Ash's Dynamite and Torb's Molten Core. Okay, now let's talk about Maga's movement ability, Overrun. Overrun makes Maga start an unblockable dash that gives him 50% damage mitigation for its duration. After the ability finishes winding up, any skills that stun or cause knockback will be completely negated, including Sombra Hack, Ana Sleep, etc. You can cancel Overrun into a jump by pressing your primary fire or jump button, or you can stop the ability instantly by pressing the Overrun keybind again. If you happen to land Overrun's jump on a target, it'll have one of three effects on them. If you land straight on them, it'll cause a critical hit that does 90 damage, grants 45 overhealth, and causes a short stun to any enemies within the radius. If you're further away from the enemy, you'll be knocked back and take 45 damage. If you collide with an enemy directly instead of jumping, it'll do 25 flat damage. Also, do note that abilities such as Ryan's Pin, Doom Punch, and other movement abilities will be cancelled if they happen to collide with Maga while he's running. But Maga will continue running. Alright, now let's talk about the one thing that's keeping Maga playable right now, Cardiac Overdrive. This ability is insanely strong. You and your boys will get 30% damage resistance and 70% lifesteal for 5 seconds after using the ability as long as they're in the radius's line of sight. If an ally leaves the radius of this ability while it's still active, they'll retain the effects for around 1.2 seconds. Now let's move on to his ultimate, Cage Fight. This ultimate has 3 main functions. First, it forms a 7x7 meter shield around itself, it restricts movement abilities of people who walk in the cage, and it also gives the ulting manga unlimited ammo while inside the cage. Your allies can still use movement abilities and walk in and out at will of the ultimate, but enemies and yourself will not be able to. This ultimate lasts for 8 seconds, and I highly recommend trapping the enemy tank with you, as well as saving your cardiac overdrive before you use the ultimate. By the way, if you die while ulting, the ult won't end. You need to either cancel the ult, wait out its duration, or the enemy team has to burn through its 1500 barrier HP. There are only a few movement abilities that can be activated at any time while in cage fight, such as Ash's coach gun and Junkrat's explosives. This is likely due to them causing knockback instead of being direct movement abilities. There are also only a few ways to escape the cage fight, which include Orisa's Fortify, Symmetra's Teleporter, and Life Weaver's Life Grip. Now that we've talked about Maga's abilities and interactions, let's swap the focus into Maga's in-game matchups. Maga is weak against heroes with high critical damage and those who can stop him from self-healing. In the tank role, he's strong against heroes like Roadhog, but weak against D.Va and Sigma. In the DPS role, snipers like Hanzo, Sojourn, Ash, and Widowmaker are very effective against Maga since they can get easy headshots on him. 
Other DPS that are good against Manka are Divers, such as Genji due to his deflect, and Tracer because of her hitbox and high mobility. Reaper, which while being a brawler more than a diver, is also effective against Manga because he has high self-healing as well as the ability to get out safely using his Wraith form. In the support role, Ana is the biggest counter to Manga, which is obvious, but this coming Tuesday this may no longer be the case as Manga will get some tuning to his survivability. Life Weaver can also be effective into Manga due to his life grip and the Kiriko can Suzu allies that are burning, instantly stopping Manga's healing in the process. Okay, now that matchups are out of the way, let's finish off this video by talking about Manga's playstyles. Manga has two main playstyles, Poke and Brawl. Being able to swap between these playstyles dynamically is a big part of what makes a good Manga player. If the enemy is playing into a sniper heavy comp, you'll spend most of the game brawling, as snipers such as Widowmaker are weak against close up fights. If they instead have an aggressive brawl comp, you'll focus on poking, trying to get someone low enough to push in on them and begin to brawl at an advantage. When preparing to begin brawling, make sure you bait key cooldowns like on a sleep and anti nade. You can bait out sleep easily by using overrun, but anti nade has to be avoided. Manga can be effective at just about any range. Point blank, he has some of the highest damage outputs in the game, and he has extremely consistent poke at range. I recommend only shooting both chain guns at once when fighting a tank, as the accuracy loss will actually decrease your overall effectiveness most times. Okay, that's it for this video. If you watched this video to the end and also watched my extended cut, please let me know which style of video you preferred in the comment section below so that I can prioritize making that type of video first in the future. By the way, around 98% of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Bye now!